like that, unless you would like to enjoy some intense pain tonight. Now, drink this. It's water. Can't have you dying on me now, can I? <laughs> oh, relax. It's not drugged. You know I hate the taste of drugs in your blood. It's fucking vile. Now listen here, my pet. Our little guest is almost here, and I have a wonderful little surprise up my sleeve. I don't trust Vanessa, so do as I tell you, unless you want your bloody bollocks ripped off. Understand? Good. Just keep your mouth shut the whole time and behave. Okay. Now open your mouth for me. Drink. Fuck's sake, stop choking and hurry up and drink the bloody thing. It's just a little vervain. <laughs> Good pet. Oh shit, she's here already. Just keep being your usual little pathetic self. You know, Misty. If you want me to visit your little hideout, you could at least clean it up a little. Oh please, Vanessa. You make a mess with your pets all the time. Remember 1935, when you let blood run through the floorboards and let it go off? That was absolutely vile. You are so lazy, he compelled the neighbours to clean the mess. Well, I didn't want to get my hands dirty. Plus, those neighbours made for an excellent feast that night. <laughs> They sure did. I was feeling extra sadistic that night when I made them drink each other's blood. The wife passed out, hitting her head on the coffee table. <laughs> yes, we made the husband bark like a dog on his knees and lick the coffee table clean. <laughs> did I tell you to move, pet? Keep still and do as your master tells you. I'll be over to play with you in a second. You remember me mentioning Vanessa to you? Keep your bloody mouth shut, understand? Oh. Is that your new pet I smell? They smell so good. My fangs are piercing my lip with excitement. I never said you could drink from them, so don't get too excited now. I only invited you to give you the documents I promised I would hand over. There are numerous lists with the names of people responsible for your twin's death. Oh, come on now, Misty. Don't be like that. You're always so nasty and stubborn. You are selfish and never want to share anything. You know I don't care about my twin sister. She pissed me off anyway. Oh, I'm the selfish one now. Come on, Vanessa. Be serious. You loved her to bits, but you were just jealous at how much of a better vampire she was than you are. What was that? If she was such a good vampire, then how does she end up dead? Pathetic. <laughs> hmm, I wonder exactly, how did she end up dead? I mean, she did touch one of my prized possessions the night before she died, but... I wouldn't go as far to kill someone over that. What do you think, pet? Well, answer me then. I told you to answer my bloody question. Listen to your master. Obey me or I will punish you. Now that's a good pet. What were you saying? I can hear you with the sound of your heart pounding. <laughs> can I just have one bite already? I'm so thirsty. My mouth is still dry from the vervain I drank. That stupid hunter. Well, my pet, do you think I should let her feed from you? Keep your mouth shut about earlier, or I'll snap your fucking neck. She won't be able to smell the vervain in you. Your blood is poisonous to us, but I got my feed from you this morning, so I'm all good. <laughs> what are you blabbering on about over there? Actually, I couldn't care less. Just thinking about how I don't want to share my pets. They are a little drained already. 
You know how I get with my victims. So to make up for some of the blood, why don't I go grab some wine from upstairs to pair their blood with? Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. Reminds me of that party we just visited before you kept all the hot men for yourself. Tell me, how did your fangs feel sinking into your flesh as you let them take your body for the night? Even though I already claimed them for myself. Don't be a jealous bitch. They didn't want even a sauce to deal with it. Now I'll be right back. Keep your fangs away from my pet. Ah, finally. Alone time. You truly are a special gem. You smell amazing. Why does she always get the best pets? I am sure you want to come and live with me, darling. I will treat you far better than that witch. But first, let me have a taste of that delicious blood. I will bite you where she will not notice. Don't you worry. Now relax. I promise to be gentle with you. Just going to pull your shirt back here and take a little bite above your collarbone. Now hush, little one. Also, look into my eyes quickly. I am going to compel you. Hmm. Good. Well done. Now listen very carefully. Later on, when I ask you to call the name of your master, Respond with my name. You will not utter another word and keep this a secret. Here we go. Now that this is out of the way, I am just going to have a little snack. Oh my, you taste quite nice. I can't help but gulp down your fresh sweet blood. I honestly do not care if Misty catches me in the act. You are just too precious. Tilt your head now. Good. Well done. I'm just going to claim this spot right here. Oh, goodness. She truly is an animal when it comes down to feeding. The front of your neck is covered in shitloads of scars. <sighs> Oi! Get your fangs off my pet. What the fuck, Vanessa? I told you to wait. Always oh, so impatient. Guess I'll let you off just this once since you are a guest. I have an idea for some fun. I'm listening. Get your pet to perform some tricks. <laughs> Sounds fun. Let me undo the restraints. It's not like he can tackle a vampire anyway. Now, little one, I want you to get on your knees and look at me. Do as she tells you, but just remember who your true master is. Now, I want you to call the name of your true master. Go on. Call out your new master's name. Well, that's easy. It's clearly me. Don't speak so soon. And there you have it. They chose me. How is that possible? I compelled them! Did you honestly think I would be that stupid to leave them alone with you without Vervain in their system? But what would be the point? Why poison your own food source? For fun, of course. You know how much us vampires like to play games, Vanessa. I even played a game with your sister on the night of her death. It's pretty clear who lost since you haven't heard from her in a while. Plus, I got my feed before the poison was placed in them. You bitch. You are going to pay for this. I'll rip your heart straight out of your chest. Pretty typical of you, Vanessa. You're just all bark and no bite. You have a vein in your system and you can't do shit to me. Just as pathetic and weak as your sister. Oh. Is that right? Guess I'll take another option. Now, pet, if I'm dying, you are coming to hell with me. 
Well, you truly are special, Vanessa. You surprise me. I mean, you're even more low and pathetic than I thought to be possible. And I didn't think you could be any lower than what I already thought of you. You think I care if you kill my pet? <laughs> I can find another to play with. Also, you're just filling yourself up with more of a vein. Oh, then. I guess I'll leave them to die before you. I have drained enough blood to kill them. Go to sleep, little one. <laughs> So fucking pathetic. Now enjoy rotting in hell. I would rather not get my hands dirty, but seems to be my only option right now. It's been fun, Vanessa. Truly a blast, you sick sadistic fuck. <laughs> Do it already and rip my heart out. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> See you in hell. <laughs> Finally, some peace. Oh shit! She truly did drain you. This is bothersome. You are far too entertaining to let die. I guess I have no other option but make you mine for good. I am going to turn you into a vampire. I will sigh you. Now, if you don't want to die, then do as you're fucking told, okay? Drink as much blood as possible from my wrist. In doing so, I will drain the remainder of your blood, killing you. When you die, my blood will take over, and you shall be reborn as a vampire. The one thing you truly despise. I can't heal you because of the vein in your system, so this is my only option. I can't guarantee you'll work, but it's worth a shot.